Hello and welcome back for another episode of The Walking Dead, Season 1, Episode 2. The last time around we went to camp, we found Clementine's head and a strange woman who must have been the child's mother anyway. We had to put her down because she was going crazy and now we get the feeling something's going on around here. Something very eerie. Something possibly very evil. Before we go in the barn, let's go ahead and check things out. Okay, supper time should be coming pretty soon. I'm kind of with Lily now. I mean, yeah, we, we should probably just get the hell out of here. I don't like this feeling we got going on. Why? Oh, okay. How you how you kids doing in here? It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. Whoa. Katya says Mabel could have her baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, how you got how you doing, Doc? Have I missed anything? No, not really. Hmm, it smells funny in here. Like manure. What's manure? Duty. <laughs> Kids. <laughs> How you doing, Clemmy? Oh, by the way, well, we'll talk to her first. Then we give her head. That cow, Clem. She's pretty. Yeah, she is pretty. How do you like that cow, Clem? Okay. She's pretty. Let's go ahead and give you the hat now, cause uh, she's been waiting for this. Here, Clementine. My hat! You found it. I knew you'd find it. You said you would. Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? Uh, I'd like to, someday. I'd like to, someday. Maybe a little girl like you. That's nice. You'd be a good daddy. Well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and talk to. Oh, well, we is gonna be the same thing. How do you like that cow? Yeah, okay. Clem? She's pretty. All right, let's go ahead and talk to other people now. Oh, I guess we can't talk to her. So, what about you, Andy? Hey there, Andy. Yeah. How's the cow? How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. Uh, yeah, Danny and I, when do you think we might be able to eat? Um, when do you think, uh, we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. Everyone gets excited. Now, all we got to tell them about the woman we met in the woods last episode. We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh... He probably talks a little more than he ought to. Thanks. Yep. Yeah, that ain't suspicious as shit. Now yeah, I'm really worried. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. Thanks. Yep. Okay, yeah, we're done with them, right? Can I do some investigating? Okay, nothing much in here. Just a bunch of stuff, right? Yeah, I don't see anything. We look at the window? Yeah. Just a bad storm's coming. Okay, let's try to investigate all of these stalls if we have to. Because you never know, one might have, could have evidence of something very suspicious. Oh, what do we got here? Look through feeding trough. We may have to do that. I mean, Lily says to be very careful, but I mean, you never know what you may find. And I'm getting a deep suspicious feeling about these people. It's a feeding trough. 
<laughs> Lee's like, nope, I am not going to be putting my hand through there. Anything out the window? Okay, well, we may have to go ahead and back up, because I am not seeing anything else. Okay, what do we got over here? I get the feeling something may be in one of these stalls. Okay, there's a salt lick. Hay bale. I want to play in the hay. Just stay close to your mom for now. Okay. Yeah, be careful, Doc. You never know what you may find around here. He's just like, I want to play in the hay. I want to have fun in the hay. I want to play in the hay. No. Just stay close to your mom for now. He is okay. dumber than a bag of hammers. Okay, so we got nothing in here, right? Now, we already checked this stall over here, right? Let's go up here and check this, this second to last one we have. Another salt lick. Um, wait a minute, what? It's a wheelbarrow full of clothes. That looks like an IV. Oh, no. I think we found something. Okay, before we look into that, let's go ahead and check this other stall. I don't want to trigger an event just yet. What's over here? Boxes. St. John's Dairy. Okay. Yeah, we're going to have to go ahead and look at that other one real quick. Anything in these boxes? Empty. They're all empty. Man, I've seen that... Freaking IV bag, something is going on. Alright, let's do this. I don't want to use the door just yet. Uh, can I use the door? Locked. You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something. Damn Behind it. This door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff. Something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? Damn it. Clem? I want to look at that wheelbarrow. I'll protect her no matter what. I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. No! Oh on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. I don't want to go in there. I want to go to check out that... Oh, no. Can we just get back out of it? No. Oh, no. No, no, no. I want to go back and look at that wheelbarrow. Son of a bitch! This is why, oh God, why? Hey, Lee, you know how to pick a lock, right? Damn it. Oh, why would you say that? Well, you're, you know, urban. Oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. Kenny. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Hmm. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? Kenny thought he heard a noise. He's a little jumpy, huh? Well... We're all sure glad his wife is here. She's a lifesaver. You got no idea. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Oh, God. Look, huh? Strike any to get him out of the barn. Okay, can we just look in here real quick? I gotta find out what this is. Looks like a bunch of old dirty clothes. Ooh, smells pretty foul. Yeah, that is very unsettling. Strict 
Andy to get him out of the barn. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. Oh, God. Danny mentioned he needed something. Where do you keep tools? What? So, where do you keep the rest of the tools? Well, if you need something, just tell me what it is, and I can get it for you. Eh, not that important. Danny mentioned he needed something. Did he say what? Shit, I, I can't remember now. Sorry. <sighs> all right, all right. Be right back, Doc. Well, that got him out. What about Kaja? What are you? How are the kids? They're doing okay. I never did thank you for saving Doc from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Kaja. Andy will be back any minute. Please hurry. What about you, Kenny? God. I hate doing this because I feel like we're breaking our trust. But at the same time, something's going on. False alarm. I'm back. Damn. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. <laughs> he needs something again. Danny needs something again. <sighs> all right, all right. Be right back, Doc. Shit, so we gotta really act fast then. All right, come on. No time to be dicking around. We gotta get moving. Watch him use the door. He'll be like, oh, guess what? Yeah, I'm back. False alarm. Okay, let's do this. False alarm. I'm back. Son of a bitch. Okay, you know what? We need to come up with a better idea. Kenny, we need to come up with a better idea. I picked up something I think could help with the lock. All right. Good to hear. Uh, Andy keeps coming back. I tried distracting Andy, but he keeps coming back. There's got to be something out there you can mess with to keep him busy for a while. What about those generators? Oh, God. I guess we're going to have to go mess with the generator. Okay, I'm pretty sure they're going to say the same thing. Use the barn door. I hate to mess with the generator. <laughs> so, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Oh, God. Oh, I manage just fine. Plus, I have my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. Those two. Now that he's up there, can we talk to Lily? Let's see what's going on here. Wait. Doesn't offer much in the way of protection, though. Yeah, it'd be a very easy way to get an arrow in the shoulder. What's going on, Lee? Did something happen? There's something odd with the barn. There may be something going on with that barn. I'm telling you, Lee. The longer we stay here, the more trouble we're getting ourselves into. And what exactly do you think I'm supposed to do about it? If you want to go in there and start rooting through other people's shit, then get to it. But if it's up to me, we should just take our food and go. That's a good idea. After what Kenny told me, I'm starting to think they may be trying to hide something. You two are just asking for trouble. But if you insist on wandering around, I'd be careful, Lee. I'm gonna go check things out. Watch uh, yourself, Lee. Man, I know. I don't like that. Something is seriously wrong. I'm gonna go check things out. Watch yourself, Lee. Okay, so I guess we can't do nothing with that. Her father's up there getting his Mac on with the woman. Oh, man. And we haven't even eaten dinner yet. That's sad. Okay, so I don't want to mess with the generator just yet, because it feels like I should probably hear more from them up there first before we go ahead and mess with the generator. Is there anything else around here we can take a look at really quick? Probably all going to be the same stuff as we've seen before. Okay, come on, well, hurry up. <laughs> I, just, I just wanted to take a look at the outlet to see if anything changed. Yeah, doesn't look very safe, but I guess that's the point. Worst case scenario, all you gotta do is come out and pull the plug out and be like, Bzzz. 
Fence is down. Boop boop ba doom. Wow. Okay. I wonder what these two are up here talking about. We'll uh we'll finish talking later. I don't like that. You been getting along with Larry? <laughs> He's just a big old sweetheart, ain't he? Uh don't know if I would have used those words exactly. Don't judge, honey. This world is bringing out the worst in people. But if you really look, you'll catch a glimpse of humanity every now and then. How's Mark doing in there? How's Mark doing in there? Best patient I ever had. Oh, my boys get so much as a scratch and start hollering. He could definitely teach them a thing or two about being tough. I'd still like to check on him. You're gonna have to trust me on this, Lee. I've helped stitch my share of wounds. I know what I'm talking about. But I want to see him. So, what are y'all keeping the barn back there? Besides cows, I mean. Well, someone's getting a little curious, aren't they? I don't mean to pry. It's nothing interesting, I can promise you that much. Just some odds and ends. Takes a lot to run a farm, you know. We ran into some trouble out there. I was just glad you two weren't hurt. Those bandits just don't know when to quit. But my boys, they can hold their own. Uh, your boys are nuts. Why do you deal with bandits? Why did you make a deal with those people? We got a threat of humanity left, Lee. We can do more good without them in our hair by placating them. So that's what we do. Think I'll go have a look around. Kind of peaceful out here, ain't it? Enjoy it while you can. You'll probably start hearing those monsters frying against the fence before too long. Okay, well, that was... Wow, I didn't even finish answering my questions. Get more questions, though. Can I go back and talk to her? I guess I could. I don't know. I want to go ahead and meet a I want to see how he's doing. What's on your mind, Lee? When will dinner be ready? Should be ready before too long. Yeah, dinner's been freaking doing all day. What what are you making in there? Oh, see, this is getting like really, really suspicious. Where'd he go off to? Okay, there's that one. There's that one. Let me guess, you playing with your gun still? Hello. It's with the wheelbarrow. I saw a wheelbarrow over there full of garbage. Some bloody clothes. Things happen on a dairy. Cut myself darn bad just the other day. Blood everywhere. You seem okay. I'm tough. I'm gonna go wait for supper then. It'll be a good one. Oh, God. The way he says that is so damn eerie. Okay, so I think we talked to everybody for the most part. Did the father go back? Yeah, he went back. Let's go talk to him really quick. He'll probably be like, Keep your nose out of other people's businesses, you asshole. Can we talk to Larry? Yes. Come on, Larry. Let's see what he has to say. Like, if you know what's good for you, you keep your yap shut and your nose clean, fool. So, Larry, it, uh... Looks like you're getting along with Brenda pretty well. You know, for a nice change of pace, how about you try and mind in your own fucking business? Shocker, right? I'm gonna go check things out. Yeah. Watch yourself, Lee. Alright, I guess we have nothing left really to do except go ahead and hit that generator. Oh, God. Seems like a storm is brewing. Seems like dinner is never gonna get ready. Ten episodes later, dinner still not done. Slowest dinner ever. I'm glad Andy knows how to fix this if something goes wrong. Clueless about okay, us. here we go. Let's go ahead and start getting in trouble. What happens if I just broke this face panel? Look at the panel. Look at the power switch. Power switch. Access. Huh. <laughs> Man, a person could really mess this up. Guess I'm gonna need a screwdriver for this. Got it. I got it. Multi-tool, go. Easiest screws ever to open the door. Heck. Oh crap, we got a belt. Look at the belt. Looks like that belt's driving the uh whatchamacallit. Um The belt's driving a thingy that makes the doobobber do some work. 
and all that other good stuff. Ow, damn it. Thing is moving fast. Oh, okay, I see where this is going. Power switch. Yeah, let's go ahead and deactivate it. Then use multi-tool, or do that. That thing is on too tight for my bare hands. All right, whatever. We got this. We got this. There, that should do it. Oh god, shit's gonna go down now. Fucking Danny, where did you find this piece of shit? Oh, fucking thing threw a bell. Damn it, all. Ah, oh, son of a fuck. Oh, this take forever. That's what we need. All right, let's go ahead and use this time wisely. Let's go use the gate and check out that back room. Oh, God. Now watch, he's gonna wind up being back here hogtied, won't All right. Make sure everybody okay in here is good. Oh, yeah, it looks even worse outside. Hey, Kenny. Yeah, can't talk to Kenny. Now let's do that. Dinner, are you kidding? Mom, Dad, dinner time! It's dinner time! Okay, honey, let's get that. Oh. Dad! Dad! Come on! Let's eat! Kenny, come along, honey. Kenny, come on. Don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. Get that thing off. Even if we get this thing off, I got a feeling that they're going to be coming looking for us. Okay. Oh my god, so many screws! Oh my god. So many. And... Yes. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I think I'm going to be sick. They are. Boy, didn't you hear the bell? Oh, shit. Dinner time. Uh, what the hell is this? What the hell you got in that back room? Look, we have food here, but. Danny and I still gotta do a lot of hunting to keep everyone fed. When we catch something in the woods, we skin it and dress it back there. Mama doesn't like us to make a mess in the house. So, so you see, nothing to worry about. God. Now shit's gonna get really crazy. Oh God. <laughs> Brenda, you wow. are an angel. How Excuse the mess. We had to block the back door after a walker got upstairs. Don't worry. That was a while ago and ain't been back inside since. Everybody sit down. I'll go get the meal. Oh, this is a delight. I could eat a horse. Where's Mark? Now don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Mind if I wash my hands first? Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day. Yeah, there's something wrong. I am very queasy about all of this. 